need you to cut some yellow roses. Do you think you can handle that? You know, Emma, you do me a great service every day. By keeping you off your lazy butt so you don't get fired? By giving me the daily opportunity to practice my philosophy of love and acceptance. Practicing philosophy? Wow, that's got to work up a sweat. You should try this sometime, Emma. You really are something else. Here, I brought this for you. There, take my spot, make yourself comfortable, and read a little of it. It will change your life. You disgust me! I love you too. What a jerk. What is this dumb book, anyway? this? To Emma? What is this, a poem? I don't get it. O come, dearest Emma, the rose is full blown, and the riches of flora are lavishly strewn. The air is all softness and crystal the streams, and the west is resplendently clothed in beams. This doesn't make any sense. Did Raymond write this for me? It's in his handwriting. It says to Emma. We will hasten my fair to the opening glades, the quaintly carved seats and the freshening shades, where the fairies are chanting their evening hymns, and in the last sunbeam the sylph lightly swims. <laughs> wow. Isn't that just like him to write me something I can't understand? But it says, dearest Emma. Does Raymond love me? I love you too. Oh my God, he just said that. I love you too, he said. What if he does? What if he loves me? At least talk to Emma first. And when thou art weary, I'll find thee a bed of mosses and flowers to pillow thy head. There, there beauteous Emma. Emma. I'll sit at, at thy feet, feet while my story, story of love I enraptured repeat. Story of love? Wow! <laughs> so fondly I'll breathe, and so softly I'll sigh, thou wilt think that some amorous zephyr is nigh. Ah, no, as I breathe, I will press thy fair knee, and then thou wilt know that the sigh comes from me. It's going to press my fair knee? Goodness! <laughs> when why, lovely girl, should we lose all these blisses that mortals fool who such happiness misses? So smile acquiescence and give me thy hand with love-looking eyes and with voice sweetly bland. Oh my God, I can't believe this. I just can't. He loves me. All this time, he's really loved me. A lot. Oh wow, what do I do now? Oh wait, there was something in this poem. So smile acquiescence with love-looking eyes, and with voice sweetly bland. You sure will, Mrs. Elliot. Emma, Mrs. Elliot wants to talk to you about making few more pastries for the party tonight. What's wrong? Nothing. Okay. Good. Glad to hear it. And how are you, Raymond? Why, I'm just fine, Miss Emma Waters. How are you this fine day? Well, if you're just going to make fun, 
I wasn't making fun. You were making fun. Just forget about it. Forget about what? What on earth is wrong with you? I hate you. Absolutely hate you. Well, I think we've well established that by now. Take your crappy book. I never want to read it or you again. Whoa, Emma. Slow down. Wait a minute. What just happened? Nothing happened. No, I think you threw Walden at me. I'm pretty sure that just happened. You're an insensitive, heartless jerk. Okay, I know you think I'm a jerk, but heartless? Really? How'd you come up with that one? Well, read that book and maybe you'll find out. Walden? I'll find out why I'm an insensitive, heartless jerk by reading Walden? Yes, you will.